And um, let's show them some love. So please, give a round of applause for comedian Sam. B.I.C. Fuck me. Oh God. Whoa. Okay, ain't nobody fucking with my click. Hey, click, hey, click, hey, click, hey, click, hey, click, click. Give it up for Make Cool Mike Steve on the ones and twos. Give it up for your host. Give it up for me. Y'all are the man, it's stingy, son. I went through a lot to get here. I can't believe y'all are giving me this cold reception. You know what I had to do to get here? I was driving here from Brooklyn, where I live. I had to pay a toll to get here. And I drove here. I was on Eastern Parkway. I stopped at the red light and I stopped. And some crazy ass Haitian lady hit the back of my car. She re-rendered me. And before I could even react to the fact that she hit my car, she had already jumped out of her car and was in my driver's side window talking crazy. She was like, what? What are you doing? Why did you hit the front of my car with the back of your car? I said, what? She said, why did you hit the front of my car with the back on your car? I said, listen, I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call the police. She said, you are going to call the police. Uh-oh. She reached in her pocket. Pulled out some shit. <laughs> and hit <laughs> me. Right in my face. I said, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? That voodoo shit don't work on me. I believe in Jesus, bitch. <laughs> and Jesus beats voodoo every fucking time. Get the fuck out of here. She was like, that was no voodoo. That was cocaine, so when the police come, you are going to jail on it, fuck it. I said, oh shit, this bitch. <laughs> the fuck I'm supposed to do that? The fucking cops came, I was talking like that bitch. I was like, officer, I don't know what happened. I hit the front of the cop. Give me back on my top. You have to always be. Whoa. Oh, oh. Crazy shit. This is beautiful. I'm from Brooklyn. Y'all in the brush. I didn't even get hit by the hurricane. Y'all niggas like it was raining. Whatever. <laughs> we was fucked up in Brooklyn, son. The hurricane hit us crazy. I was in traffic the day after the hurricane. I was in traffic. Got stuck like three blocks from my house, stuck in traffic. Four hours later, found out I was in a gas line. Like, oh, I didn't even need no gas. What the fuck? I could have just drove around. That got fucked up. Shit was crazy. That shit got me thinking, son. What if the world end? What you gonna do when the world end? Niggas be talking that survival shit, but niggas be losing bars on their cell phone. Like, yo, what's up, nigga? Oh, I can't make it, nigga. I ain't getting no food, jeez, son, no food. I'm gonna die, nigga. What if you, what if you die and you go to heaven, you find out you was fucking with the wrong religion this whole time? Oh, right. <laughs> You go up to heaven, right? You like, yo, listen up. I pay my tithes every week, son. I gave a little nigga my kidney. And I saved the cat from a fucking fire, my nigga. He's like, yeah, that's all good. But you ain't got no curly sideburns, my nigga. I can't let you in here like that. You got a dress code. You ain't got no fuzzy hat, no nothing, nigga. I had a show in Bridgeport, Connecticut, right? It was fucked up, it was dirty, it was gross. And after the show, the promoter, he was like, I'm gonna take y'all 
to the strip club. So we went to the dirty ass Bridgeport strip club. <laughs> that shit was gross. And they had water dripping from the ceiling into a bucket. Just there, bonk, whatever. <laughs> they had a whole corner of the strip club taped off because a crime had just been committed over in the corner. He was like, you don't want to close to that? He's like, nah, son, that shit happen every night. Don't worry about that shit. <laughs> they didn't have no pole for the strippers. There's no pole. There's no pole for the strippers. They just had a naked bitch holding a mop. Like, got it. When the bitch came out that I spilled my drink, she's like, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? I don't need to be here. So I left, I was like, I don't need to be. This shit is dirty, you out there. So I left, I was like, I don't even want to spend my money here. And I left and I got on the I-95 southbound, going back to Brooklyn. And for the first time in my life, I seen the deer, son. I was like, oh shit. Look at this fucking deer, my nigga. This nigga's beautiful. Look how he majestically gallops across that And I hit the fucking deer, son. I said, oh shit, and I pulled my car over, and I fucking got out the car, and the fucking deer got the fuck up, son. This nigga looked at me and limped the fuck away. I said, oh shit, this nigga's coming back. So I called my peoples. I called my peoples, I called Geico. I said, yo, Geico. Geico. Oh, I fucked up, my nigga. Oh my God. I fucked up, son. My nigga Geico said, chill, son, chill, chill, chill. What happened? What happened? I said, yo, my nigga, I just hit that deer, son. I hit that nigga, and that nigga got the fuck up. And I think he coming back, son. And Geico said, chill. What the fuck? You ruined everything. And the guy goes, said, chill. I know all the deers around now. You good, my nigga. Don't even worry about that shit. I said, but guy go, my car is all fucked up. It's, I got to what the fuck am I supposed to do about this? They said, listen, nigga, give me $500. I'll fix your whole shit up. I said, $500? The whole reason I left this dirty ass Bridgeport strip club is because I didn't want to spend no money. Now I ended up spending $500 to fix my car. You know how many lap dances I could have got at the dirty ass Bridgeport strip club for $500? I'll tell you how many. 500, motherfucker. My name is Sim. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And good night. Oh my God. All right. How many of y'all enjoyed that from Comedian Center? All right. Give him a round of applause one more time. All right. Thank you for coming out, brother. We appreciate you, man.